Welcome to the view. Is Nick Jonas gay? Yes. Yeah. He he sent you a dick the other night. Oh, okay. So come up and tell us about it. Nope. This is Valentine. He's gonna tell us about sex with Nick Jonas. Oh, I know somebody who's gonna be jealous. <laughs> so what was it like? Oh my god, it was the best experience of my entire life. I fucking loved it. Who sucked whose dick? Well, he wanted to experiment with me first, and he said he would like to suck my dick first. And I said that was okay, I'm not really into that, but I'll do it. You know, as long as he let me suck yours afterwards. And he said okay. Now, is he really gay or is he just like a bi guy experimenting? Well, he saw me in Trek first, and that what init- that's what initially um, attracted him to me. It, but he said he wouldn't care. Is that how you normally attract straight guys? With um, you and drag? I, I know of... Uh, that's an all drag queen guy. Drag. Yeah, that's how it normally happens. They see me in drag, and they're kind of intrigued by it. And then they kind of talk to me, and we go to like their room, and things happen. Because there's this one guy that's been after you. Um, his family is, uh, um, is uh, up in arms over... Uh, because he's been straight his whole life, and now all of a sudden he's... Yeah, did you give him my number yet? I've been waiting for him to text me. Um, I was, I've been afraid to. But, but if, a straight guy, if a straight guy has sex with a drag queen, that doesn't make him gay. No, I, no, I, I told him that. Yes, I told him that. Too. I said, no, you will not be gay. A lot of guys understand um, when they're attracted to someone who's trans or a drag queen, it's not because they're gay, because obviously gay men aren't attracted to women. Obviously. Obviously, mm-hmm. so being attracted to a drag queen or a trans woman you're attracted to a woman, so you're not gay, you're straight. Not at all. Oh, really and I want to make that clear for anyone who's considering it. <laughs> yes. yeah. Make that clear. I second that you so will not be gay. So all you straight guys, if you want to have sex with Valentine, you will not you're be gay. not gay. <laughs> yeah. You're straight. You're open-minded. You're straight. You're smart. You're really smart. <laughs> and you're rich. Yeah. And you're good looking and you're young. And you've got a big car. And you're powerful. <laughs> and a nice house. And successful. And in all the newspapers. <laughs> and, and, everybody, For all our and everybody likes you. Thank and you, you and Valentine. You smell really good. <laughs> We're gonna sounds, take- like, sounds like the man from that the, um, Old Spice uh, commercial. Remember the man of the world? It could be that man, or it could be like the smartest... Is it the smartest man in the world or the most interesting the man? Most in the most interesting world? man in the world. And who drinks Corona, right? No, he has old, he uses old or, spice. Or is it old spice or Corona? Is oh, it beer? Spice. Beer or Cologne? Old spice. Oh, Dos Equis. So it. He uses Dos Equis as a deodorant? No, Dos Equis is a beer, darling. Oh. A Mexican yeah. beer. Oh. That, but that's not Corona. Oh. Corona, the, is, the a, other, is, a, Corona is a professor at. Um, uh, at Columbia. It's the other Mexi- about to be. Uh, the other Mexican beer. Oh, the other Mexican. The it's other a Mexican. Uh, it's a faux professor at Columbia. The other sour Mexican <laughs> alcoholic beverage. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna take a deep breath right now, and we'll be right back with our next topic. Inhale. And now a word from our sponsor. Welcome back to the Pew. Welcome to One by one. We Michael are knocking off our friends. <laughs> Michael is knocking off his friends. Our and, friends. And our friends. <laughs> well, the, we, are, we have no reason to fear any of these people hating us. Because they probably already do. I'm, I'm sure all of them do. Uh, so... We're not really going to vote for any of the Republican presidential candidates, so we decided to be very shallow and decide if we would actually have sex with any of them. And I'm, first, I'm going to give Michael a quiz to see if he recognizes the. the I mean, I, I have a li- I have a pictures here the of all the Republican is candidates. To anybody with an so, eye. Do you recognize him? Who's the Who's this? That's John Carmen. That's not John Carmen. John Carmen. Oh no, that's the guy from the Gong Show. Um, uh, um, da 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 da
The, um, Donald Trump, I know that one. Okay, who's this? Um, is that John Carmen? No. John Carmen is the cocaine smoking publicist from Limelight right. from 30 years ago. That's what he looks like. Who's that? Um, John Carr? No. Who is that? Larissa? <laughs> Mike Huckabee does not look like Larissa. Oh, well, it's a matter of opinion. So my feeling is that there's really only one Republican candidate that I would actually have sex with yeah, yeah. right now, but even even still... Go ahead, go ahead. The Hispanic, let me guess. I would have sex the with Hispanic one. Well, I, not, I wouldn't have sex with him because he's Hispanic. Because Yes, you would. I think Marco Rubio is kind of the only one that's sort of cute. Because he's Hispanic. No, that's not why he's cute, but he's cute because he's kind of young and not ugly. Oh, and please, not ugly. it's because he's Hispanic. Let's have sex with Chris Christie. And maybe I would have had sex with Rand Paul 20 years ago. He might have been cute 20 years ago. That's Rand Paul. <sighs> yeah, um, I don't think he was cute 20 years ago. One of our one of our guests here tonight said that he, he would looks just like Fred Rucker, Mister. One of our guests, after he died. One of our guests said that he would sleep with Carly Fiorina just for the scandal of it. I would sleep with her just for the scandal of it. How about Jeb Bush? Just for the scandal of it. Uh, he might have been cute twenty years ago. No. Well, his no. son is really cute. Yes, his son is cute. I will sleep with his son. Oh, I'm sure everybody knows who Jeb Bush and Carly Fiorina is. I will sleep with the sun. Enough of them. Now for more important questions. Oh, very, very important. Take, bitches want to know. Taker's Little Lover wants to know from you, Michael, what your favorite costume was that you ever wore. Was it Halloween? Or was, oh. it, a was it a club kid outfit? Oh. And do you still like watching Harmony? All of these questions. Three questions now we're allowed in. Like blood oh, feast. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Three Bitches questions. Bitches want to know. Bitches want to know. It's a, First of all, they're all they pent were, up. we never wore costumes. We wore outfits. And on Halloween, when you would wear a costume, we would not wear a costume. We were that much of a rebel. And what was the third question? Do you still like watching horror movies? Yes, I do like watching horror movies. What's the last one you watched? Um, I watched Melancholy. I guess you could consider that sort of a horror movie. Um, the Lars von Trier, you know, where the planets are colliding. Melancholia. Melancholia, right. Um, yeah. Um, and it was it, it not, a, not a traditional horror movie, but it was uh, horror. Um, but I'm going to be in a horror movie. Um, more, more about that later. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. Um, Turn me up in one of these. All right, well, we're going to take a break. Willem's going to play one song, and we'll be right back. Yay, 